Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Abhi Lash, and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of coal USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, first of all, I would like to apologize because in the morning I uploaded a video, but I had to remove it because I misspoke few levels. And the reason is there have been so many changes on the chart of coal. See, a couple of days ago, we were around 200 2400 2400 and now we are talking about 2600 so okay there have been some mispronunciations there have been some confusion so i had to delete it okay anyways my dear friends uh the market is open and we can see the market is still very much bullish so whatever levels we discuss on saturday are still very much valid if you have already watched the video from saturday then you know about the levels so no new levels but yes i'll be uh talking some extra stuff here so you can listen to me carefully okay so let's get started so first of all let's look at the market sentiment gold hits all time high gold trades at record levels this is the ongoing market sentiment and if you look at a chart of gold we can see that uh, gold also went for a breakout right now almost trading at the previous high of 2585 on saturday we discussed that in the on the chart of gold right now respecting the trend of the market considering the present trend of the market it is better and safer for us to buy at retracement but if market doesn't come for retracement we cannot help it in that case buying at breakout is the only trading strategy so if you already have taken a buy at breakout okay then you can continue with your buy position but i also mentioned that you need to be a little careful because uh in the first half of monday we do not see much volume so please follow proper risk management but right now things are very critical also with gold because gold has already given us a considerable move huge move and gold is standing at a very fragile zone of 2600 okay so now listen to me carefully <laughs> again see 2600 is going to be a very uh, strong level for buyers as well as sellers Okay. so if you are a buyer if you have been holding a buy position on gold as a positional trader swing trader or day trader okay this must be your target okay isn't it but if you're stuck on a sell because on saturday we saw the econ uh, sorry we saw the sentiment meter 77 percent retail traders are on sell right now so if you're still hoping for a trend reversal then 2600 can be a very crucial level because around 2600 there will be some selling pressure and market may come for trend reversal now let's go into little complication okay see goal is right now standing around 2585 2586 area okay. and we are expecting goal to hit 2600 but we must understand one thing that we are trading on the spot market okay and if we look at 2600 on the futures market or the options data uh, we can see that we have a good number of contracts at 2600 or the highest contract standing at 2600 so the futures market is saying that 2600 is going to be a resistance okay and if we look at the current uh, price on the futures market we can see that gold is already standing at 2613 means it is trading above 2600 so before hitting 2600 in our market if you see that there is a sudden drop on gold please do not be surprised because the resistance from futures market is already indicating that gold has already crossed it so at any point if a big sell comes also okay you should not be surprised and you need to be ready so if you're a buyer stay alert if you're a buyer as a position trader swing trader you need to be careful with your stop losses because if a big red candle forms then you will be losing a huge chunk of your profit so please be alert okay in case you see that there is a big drop in the market goal is goal is dropping below 2550 then please try to exit as a buyer because again you will get an opportunity to enter at retracement okay so this is the ongoing market situation and if you are a seller if you are stuck on a sell then also 2600 is going to play a major role because if market fails to break 2600 then we can expect a good correction i am not seeing a trend reversal right now because market sentiment is 
completely bullish but if a big correction comes at least you will be able to exit at a minimum loss try to exit okay. and in case market doesn't come for retracement because sometimes the market is so bullish that market market doesn't come for retrace in that case try to exit try to book your loss if market breaks 2600 because if we consider the geopolitical scenario okay you must know that the tension in israel iran okay uh, is still going on okay and things are escalating any big news will make gold fly again gold will break 2600 gold will break 2650 any big news from the geopolitics so stay in touch with the news also so right now market is in very fragile uh, area so please be careful and as i said okay the levels from saturday are still very much valid means if there's a big drop in the market does uh, the best support of 2547 2550 is still very much valid then we have the support around 2530 this area all these are levels all these levels are far away we need a big correction then the support of 2556 is also valid then we also discuss a support around 2570 these levels are also valid but for these levels we need a big drop in the market and as we all know if a big drop doesn't come uh, in the market we cannot help it in that case as a day trader we can look for a quick buy around <laughs> 2574 2570 these are the two areas on the chart of gold where as a where as a day trader we can look for a buy position okay but keep in mind the reliable levels like 2530 2550 are far away chances of market coming to these levels are very less okay and please follow proper risk management because gold is in huh, gold is trading like this anything may happen right now open position right now no i do not have any open position right now because um obviously i'm a day trader i'll be looking for buy at retracement around 2574 2570 if i get a buy on these two areas then i'll i'll look for a buy otherwise i am not going for any position and if gold goes up during the day and if we get a sell around 2600 yes we can go for a sell at 2600 but please follow strict risk management those who are trading with pro firms you can go with a uh, risk percentage of one person and if you are trading with your own capital then do not risk more than two to three percent okay because what will happen at 2600 still it is uh, difficult to tell right now and we are small retail traders we have we do not have that kind of knowledge and capacity to predict the market okay so the only way to make money in this type of market is to not in this type of market okay in any market is okay knowing how to react according to various market conditions we need to be survivor and to become a good survivor you need to learn how to survive in various market conditions i do not want to stretch any longer because um, if you're looking for detailed analysis then please watch the video that i uploaded on saturday because if i repeat the same stuff okay i'll be boring you guys i don't i don't, don't want it okay <laughs> so you can watch the video from saturday for proper explanation of these levels how we have derived these levels okay bye bye take care all the best and be careful